How are we doing everyone? Don DeGina here for Illinois Outdoors. We are in Branson, Missouri. We are at the doorstep of Table Rock Lake. We are at the 2012 Association of Great Lake Outdoor Riders Conference. Today, this is called our Super Breakout Day. This is where a lot of our corporate sponsors bring all of their products to show us and, and they are all here. I'm gonna show you some of them today. We're gonna to talk about a number of different products. So uh, stay right there. We've got a lot to show you here on Illinois Outdoors. Hey, welcome back to Illinois Outdoors. I'm Don Gigina, and again, we are in Branson, Missouri. We are at the 2012 Association of Great Lake Outdoor Writers Conference. Uh, we're very fortunate. We have a lot of great corporate sponsors, one of which is Chevrolet. With us right now is Odie McKinley, Chevrolet Communications, Odie. Glad to have you with us. Good morning, Don. It's great to be here. Oh, it's great to be. What a beautiful day we have in Missouri, Don. Isn't been, there something else? We've been very fortunate this year for the so Outdoor. Cool. I know. But uh, you know what? The, uh, Chevrolet is great. I, I'll tell you what. I, I am a Chevy owner. I have a 2000. I have a 2012 Chevy Tahoe as a tow vehicle. It's fantastic. And as a corporate sponsor, what Chevy does and what Odie and his crew does is they bring out a handful of tow vehicles so that all the outdoor riders that come out here, you know, we have about 160 people here, and uh, they get to take a look at these things. The other day we got to do some test driving of all the different vehicles. Really kind of neat. You can see a lot of uh, information about that on my blog at IllinoisOutdoors.com because I, uh, I got to test drive a vehicle myself. But for right now, Odie, We've got, we've got five vehicles here, four vehicles. Yep. Uh, let's start with the Silverado right here. Tell uh, us a little bit about it. Uh, well, first off, again, it's it's an honor and a pleasure for us to be part of a GLOW again this year. Uh, Chevrolet's been uh, a supporter of the organization for a number of years, and this year's no different. So it's an, it's an honor for us, and we appreciate you, Don. Um, standing right here, we have the Chevrolet Silverado 2500, which is a three-quarter ton pickup. Uh, with about a 600 mile range on a full tank of gas, tows just about 11 tons. So, takes you out in the field. If you're a hunter, you're a fisherman, you're in contracting, whatever it might be, has the capability you need, the durability you expect, and the fuel economy you want. Tell you what, this is the vehicle that I was able to drive up here myself to, to help them out. And uh, here's exactly right, about 600 miles actually when I turned the key, when I started it at my house, uh, it was 614 miles that was on the odometer. So it was really good. Uh, great on gas mileage, I'm quite surprised. I was getting 20 to 21 miles a day. One of the benefits of diesel, right? right yeah, absolutely. You've got the torque, the horsepower, efficiency and the fuel, it's a good, good combination. And you know, it doesn't seem like a diesel vehicle once you're in the inside of this, this, this uh, Silverado. It's quiet, it's smooth running, it runs smooth, the takeoff is smooth, it, it's a great vehicle. Let's move down the road. Suburban, oh my gosh. You want a big SUV, you gotta get the Suburban. Absolutely, absolutely. With available eight passenger seating, it does. It's the all-around vehicle. It's the number one vehicle for outdoorsmen. It's the number one vehicle for families. Long road trips or to the office, back and forth. With over 8,000 pounds of towing. You still have the capability and capacity you need to get your toys around. And we're looking at over 22 miles a gallon uh, fuel efficiency as well. I had the opportunity to, to drive one of these, and uh, it, 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 he's exactly right. There's plenty of room for a lot of gear. Uh, a lot of room in there, especially if you're bringing like rods and reels and, and maybe big boxes of any sort, you know, like uh, tackle boxes, things of that sort. Well, it's a great, great, great vehicle, great vehicle, and, and good mileage as well. Absolutely. Next to that, we've got the, uh, and, and this I didn't know they had. It was, it's a, it's a Chevy Tahoe hybrid. Hybrid, correct. Tell us, uh, what, what is, what is a hybrid? How does it all work? There's multiple variants of hybrids on the roads today. When we came out with the Tahoe Hybrid, what we did is we took the desire for enhanced fuel efficiency with an alternative propulsion system in the vehicle and married the two. At the time, hybrids were very common in smaller, excuse me, smaller passenger cars, small vehicles. We were the first to bring it into the full-size utility. So at the time, 
full-size trucks and utilities were hugely popular, selling off the lots across the across the automotive manufacturing sphere. And we said, all right, how do we make these a little more fuel efficient? So what there is, it's light. It's almost a light electrification in the vehicle. So when you start the vehicle up, it would be like an electric golf cart as far as what you can't hear. There's no sound. So I get in the vehicle, I engage it into drive. I'm under electric power for the few, first 15 miles per hour, depending on your driving habits, obviously. Um, at that point, the engine engages. So what you're seeing is you're seeing a 50% improvement in fuel economy in the city. Let me ask this. Someone that's not really good with technology and doesn't want to really mix up driving and pushing buttons and all that other stuff, does the hybrid, the Tahoe hybrid, is it turn the key, start, go, do you have to push any buskies for switching from electric to gas and all that, or is it all out of it? It does everything for you. It takes all the worries off of your plate, handles it, and ensures that it's driving as efficiently as it possibly can. So just out of a, let's say, let's just talk miles per gallon when you're taking and tossing in a little electric miles per kilowatt hour. <laughs> um, how, how, far is, how far is the range on a tank full of gas? Well, the tank full of gas is going to be similar, right? So if you're looking at 22 miles a gallon on a 23-gallon tank, 440 miles-ish. So what the electrification does is it doesn't extend the range. What it does is it limits the fuel when you're in the city. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. So it's actually a very good uh, type of vehicle for running around town with people like us in the greater Chicagoland area. Whatever a lot of city drivers. Absolutely. Down at the, at the, uh, the car, we have a <laughs> we have a car that I kind of like always wanted, you know. But you know, I I just never did get it. I I ended up getting things like the SUVs or a van or something like that in the Chevy line. Uh, matter of fact, there's another one that's just popped up over there, uh, Chevy Avalanche. That's a pretty car. You know? It is. It's a gorgeous car. The particular avalanche we have here is the 2013 Black Diamond Edition. So, unfortunately, and to the dismay of many people, this will be the last year that we're building the avalanche. 2013. 2013. So we'll build that out through the, the model year calendar. Mm -hmm. um, with the Black Diamond Edition, you have body-colored molding where it used to be the, the, the cladding or the plastic attributes are now body colored so the lines are cleaner it's a beautiful vehicle um, we'd love to be able to, to walk you around it you know it, what, what's really nice about that vehicle is if you're taking you fold down the back seats because they're sitting for five you fold down the back seats you can push them up and all of a sudden you can pull out that back unit and you go from i'm just going to guess you can correct me from like a five six foot bed in the back to like an eight foot Absolutely, five and three quarters up when you take down that innovative mid gate, which is what you're referring to, you do end up with an eight foot bed. Fantastic. You know what, we've got a lot to see and a lot to do here at the, uh, at the Anglo Mega Breakout Day. This is, this is just great. I want to move on and see some other people, but I really appreciate uh, having you on the show for a few minutes here, telling us about the Chevy products. And uh, if the final question is somebody wants to learn more about the Chevy vehicles and the Chevy trucks, where do they go and see it? Everything you need to know about Chevrolet and all of our products, both utilities, trucks, and passenger cars, can be found at Chevrolet.com. Odie, thanks for joining us. Don, very much appreciated. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to be back with more of Illinois Outdoors in just a moment.